My doppelganger roams at midnight. When this happened to my family, particularly my brother and mom, I was about seven years old and lived in Michigan. My brother was about five. One night, around midnight, I was asleep in my room at the end of the hall. My brother was asleep in my mom's bed and woke up for no apparent reason. He sat up and looked over to the love seat in the room. There, he saw what he thought to be me, trying to hide from his view, being all playful and giggling. The girl had golden blonde hair, blue eyes, long eyelashes, full lips, and facial features similar to mine. He then woke up mom, as he was very confused as to why I was up so late, and told her to look over at the love seat and asked, why is sissy by the couch? They then both watched in horror as the ghostly figure moved over to the window and jumped out of it. My mom was panicked, of course, and went to look out the window. Nothing was at the bottom on the ground outside the window. My mom was freaking out, so she ran to my room where she saw me sleeping peacefully. The next morning, she told me about it at breakfast. I was so shocked and intrigued because I love the paranormal, but I have no recollection of leaving my body. However, the ghost was very much like me. I wonder if I actually astral traveled or if I had a doppelganger. I have no idea to this day what really happened that night, and it still remains a mystery to our entire family, and I would really like to get to the bottom of this once and for all. Any opinions or comments are welcome. The Man in the Middle of the Road Late one night, I was in the car with my older cousin and little cousin. My older cousin needed a home, so my mom said she and her baby could live with us. Anyways, we were in the car because we were at my grandma's house to visit. We didn't leave until midnight. My cousin doesn't like to take the highway or main roads at night, so we took the back roads through the country. It takes an extra 10 minutes instead of the 20 minute drive on the main roads. It was around midnight. The weather was pretty cold, with fog almost everywhere. We drove past the usual haunted house Mainly, it's just an old, worn-down barn that looks broken and haunted. But about three or four minutes later, we saw a man. He was tall, looked about six feet. He looked like a farmer with overalls and boots and whatnot. He was just standing in the middle of the road, looking towards the left. His whole body was facing that way. The road was too narrow to just go around him. We just stopped and waited for him to move. It seemed like he didn't even notice us. He just stood in the same position. I could sense something. It, it seemed like he wasn't real. My cousin finally got annoyed. Come on, move, she said, and honked her car horn. He turned so slow. He started walking creepily and slowly towards our car. His eyes were locked on my cousin. After he walked right past the car, we drove off. About 10 minutes later, the same thing happened, except this time, he walked into the pitch black woods. This is a very scary encounter. It's not like we saw him walk in front of us. He went behind us, and it was the exact same man. Does anybody know anything? Was he maybe trying to send a message to us? Was he even real? Screaming my name at night. About six months ago is the first time this happened. I've moved back into my parents' house in Orlando, Florida, while I finished my BA degree. Most of my classes were in the evenings or night, so I didn't usually get home until almost midnight, a long time after everyone else had gone to bed. On this night, 
It was about 3 a.m. when I finally crawled into bed. Everyone in the house had been asleep in bed for many hours. I turned on my TV, but turned the sound almost all the way down. I can't sleep in silence. I rolled over onto the right side and began drifting off to sleep. I know I'm almost completely asleep because I have that weightless feeling though I can still hear what's going on around me. The TV is just a soft murmur in the background. All of a sudden, someone screams my name in my right ear, the ear that is touching the pillow. Jen! I jump off my bed like it was on fire and I'm standing in my room that is only illuminated by the TV. Still, no one in the house is awake and they sure aren't in my bedroom. No one other than me is in my bedroom. I stand there, breathing hard and shaking because I was so startled. I look around and can't see anything, so I try to calm down and crawl back into bed. Now, sometime about four weeks ago again, I was just coming home late from class. I crawl into bed and do my nightly routine. TV is on, but barely loud enough to hear. I toss and turn for about 30 minutes. I have this strange feeling I'm being watched. I get back up and look around the house just to make sure the doors are locked, everyone's in bed, etc. Finding nothing, I return to my room, though I still feel like I'm being watched. I force myself to try to fall asleep since it's already almost 3 a.m. Again, just like before, as I begin to feel weightless, Though still aware of what's going on around me, I start to drift off. Then it comes again. But this time, it's my full name. Jennifer! But unlike last time, I don't jump out of bed scared. It was screamed in a way that sounded impatient. It reminded me of the way my mom used to yell at me to get up for school when I was a kid. After she had told me many times to get up. Impatient. Very impatient. And getting even more impatient every minute. However, it was a man's voice. Automatically, I answered just as anyone would when they heard their name yelled so loud. What? I yelled back, almost sounding impatient and highly irritated. At first, I did think it was my dad yelling at me, and I waited to see if he'd respond. When he didn't, I got up to walk towards their room, but their room was dark, and he was snoring. I walked back to my room puzzled. Two weeks later, the same thing happens. Drifting off to sleep, my name is screamed. Now I'm highly irritated. I again yell back, what? Again, nothing. So I, this time, I sit up in bed and figure, well, something or someone is here and they're being annoying. So I'm done with this. So I say, look, stop screaming at me. Just tell me what you want or go away. You're pissing me off. Of course, nothing or no one responded. Now, it's about a month later and I'm done with my classes. I'm usually in bed and asleep by midnight. This morning, at about 5.15 a.m., I hear what sounds like my dad walking by my room and saying, What's that noise? It sounds like a bell ringing. I ignore him thinking he was speaking to my mom, asking her if it was her cell phone ringing because her ringer sounds a little like a bell. I look at the TV, which now is frozen on a channel and the time on the TV station says 4.38 a.m., though the real time from the clock on my bedside table says it's after 5 a.m., so I know it's not noise from the TV. When I finally get up around 11, I ask my mom why her phone was ringing so early in the morning. She tells me her phone didn't ring the first time today until about 10 a.m. and that she didn't hear my dad say anything about a bell. When my dad gets home from work, I ask him what he was talking about that morning. What bell or sound was he referring to? He tells me that he said nothing about a bell all morning and didn't even talk except to my mom if she wanted coffee when they were in the kitchen, which is on the opposite side of the house from my room, and I would not have heard any of their conversations anyway. So, what 
Or who keeps waking me up? Why do they keep doing it? And why are they so concerned about a stupid bell ringing? Which I never heard ringing, I might add. I'm just thankful they aren't screaming my name anymore.